There was a lot of hype around this movie, great reviews for this movie, and here I am, but almost like a year late, but better late than never, right? Better late than never. The Witch, directed by Robert Eggers. From the beginning of this movie, this movie is supposed to be a horror kind of a mystery movie. You can tell that this movie is different from the other horror movies that you've seen. Not just by the opening and, and really just how, how this movie was shot. But there's very little bit of dialogue in the very first 10 to 15 minutes. There's dialogue, but very little. Now, in no way am I saying this movie is, in the opening, is kind of like There Will Be Blood. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying there's very little dialogue in the first 10 to 15 minutes or so. Uh, this movie is about when a family in the 1600s living in a New England colony moves to this new land. Stuff starts to happen to this family, which may be the cause of this witch that is out in the woods near their land they just got. A family, a family member gets taken out of nowhere, and this family has no clue who did it, how did it happen, but many supernatural things happen to this really religious family, which is the key there, because now this family begins to break apart against either, each other, and they begin to question who's, who, has, who has lost their faith in thy God, and that begins to really question the family members and everyone around. What I loved about this movie is the acting. Ralph Ensign was terrific in this. He was terrific in really every scene. Uh, and he becomes more and more confused and broken with every scene and every situation his family goes in. And by the end, this guy, he goes, what the fuck? He goes way left field. At the end of this movie, Ralph Ensign goes way left field. Uh, Anya Taylor-Joy, she's in it. She plays the daughter. She was great in this. Like I said, everyone was great. I just got to talk about my two favorite characters who I thought did uh, just even better than the other cast members. members. Everyone was great in this, though. She was she was great in this. She was in the movie Morgan. I do have a review review of that. And she's in the movie Split that's coming out this month as well. I love the feel, the style in which this movie was shot. You feel a part of the scenes that this movie uh, has. The dialogue is written really, really well and really strong. That if you're not used to watching movies like this. Well, if you're not used to watching movies like this, you probably should not watch this to begin with. But if you happen to watch this movie and you're not used to watching these kind of movies with this kind of well-written and strong dialogue of uh, people back in the 1600s, you may have a real difficult time understanding uh, what's going on. I found myself being frustrated with our characters, not in a bad way, but because of what they thought and what they were believing in, what was going to work and help them out. It's kind of the same frustration I was getting back when I was watching The Crucible with how great the acting, the dialogue, and the directing was, I found by the end our characters making awful decisions. I do not think, I don't think they would ever really make. But this movie needed to tie in and end, so I just, I'm just going to call lazy writing on that. This movie is not really a horror movie, but more of a mystery kind of period piece with supernatural and religious aspects to it. Which I did love. I just, I love that is something fresh something different this movie gave us but the movie i found to be boring at times i will admit with a very cheap ending i think this movie went way too far and was kind of like other movies other bad movies out there with with its ending and i felt like this movie should have just stayed to what it was and what it was feeling what i was getting with the things i loved about this movie and that was mysterious and real there is some scenes that's creepy, but this is this is not a horror movie. I can't say this is. It's just not. It's really a, a thriller, really a mystery with some supernatural stuff thrown into it, and that stuff is great. But I I just did not. I just don't think the ending gave me the cherry on top, and you know it wasn't. You know this movie has a slow burn to it, but I didn't get the burn at the end. If you know what I'm saying, so. I will have to say, The Witch, 
I got to give it a 68 out of 100. 68 out of 100 for The Witch. Guys, if you have seen The Witch, get in the comment section and let me know your thoughts about it. I know a lot of people love this movie. I enjoy things about this movie, but I got to give it a 68 out of 100. Guys, like, share, subscribe. Check the other playlist for movie reviews and sports content. Until the next video, I'm out.